Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League with another Fallout 76 guide. This time I'm going to be talking about ammo, how you can farm it up, how you can find it, collect it, make it efficiently. Ammo, of course, can be found all over the wasteland in ammo boxes, but you might not find enough of the type you need. So if you're short a specific type for the weapons you're using, this guide is for you. My first tip would be to learn which types of enemies typically carry the kind of ammo that you need. For example, Protectrons and other robots will often drop fusion cells. I use a ton of 308 ammo, which is often carried by Scorched or Super Mutants, and so I take every opportunity to take out Scorched, to take out Super Mutants, and then search their bodies for that ammo that I need. And if you're really good, you'll eventually learn to recognize which kind of weapon your enemy is using, and you'll know based on that if they're carrying the type of ammo you need. Now you can also buy the type of ammo you need from vendors and also from ammo vending machines. They're not always going to have the type of ammo you need, but it's worth checking in at vendors and ammo vending machines if you've got the caps to spare and uh, just see if they've got a few extra rounds that you can purchase. If you're looking for vendors, you can find one at any railroad station in addition to a whole bunch of other locations. Ammo vending machines can be found at Grafton Station, Morgantown Station, Sutton Station, and the White Spring Station. They can also be found at shooting ranges and other locations as well. But when you're low on ammo, keep those four stations I just mentioned in mind because you'll find the vendor and an ammo vending machine and a stash box at all of those locations. Your third option for drumming up some ammo is of course to craft it. You do this at a Tinker's Workbench. Also, don't forget the Ammo Smith perk found under your Agility perks, which gives you up to 80% more ammo every time you craft it. It's a good idea to memorize the types of materials required to craft the ammo that you need, and always pick up the junk that you find that contains those materials. Now, if you're not sure what junk contains which materials, you can use the tag for search function, which allows you to indicate that you're searching for specific materials, and then the game will put a little magnifying glass icon next to any object in the game that contains those materials. So that provides you with an easy way of knowing instantly what you should pick up and what you should just leave behind. There are two ways to activate the tag for search. One is when you're on the crafting screen and you are short the materials you need to craft a particular thing, you'll see an option down at the bottom, push a specific button, it'll automatically tag the missing materials for search. The other way you can do it is in your Pip-Boy, go to the Junk menu, you'll see there's a button you can use to switch over to Component View, and then you'll be able to individually tag or untag any type of material you want. Now if you're doing it this way, you actually have to have some of that type of material in your inventory in order to tag or untag it, so keep that in mind. You might need to find a little bit of it first before you can tag it for search. One quick note for ammunition that requires gunpowder. Gunpowder is not considered a junk or a material item. They've got it categorized under miscellaneous for some reason, which means it won't automatically go over to your stash when you say store all junk, but it also means you cannot tag it for search, so you just kind of need to know where to look for it. It's often found on the bodies of raiders or super mutants, but you can also craft it at a chemistry station. It requires acid and cloth, and you can tag those for search if you want. Finally, and this is probably my favorite tip in this whole video, another way that you can collect a ton of ammo in the game is by using the converted munitions factory. This is one of the workshops available in the game, and if you claim it, you can actually use it to produce ammo for you in addition to other resources. It's located way in the northeast corner of the map. There's a location just to the east of the workshop called the Bailey Family Cabins. I suggest discovering this so you can use it as a fast travel point if you haven't claimed the workshop yet. Claiming this is basically the same as any other workshop. Clear out the enemies, claim the workshop, a defend the workshop event will happen. Once you've claimed the workshop, head around behind the workbench and you'll find that there's an ammunition plant built right into the factory here. It requires 20 power to fire it up. You can build generators right inside the building here if you want. Just run some wire and then you'll be able to start producing some ammunition. There's a terminal connected to the machine that allows you to select what kind of ammo you want it to make, and it'll make pretty much any caliber of ballistic ammo you want, as well as several types of energy ammunition as well. And the nice thing about this is it'll produce hundreds of units of ammunition for you. If you're playing for a couple hours and you claim this early on, this can be a great way to stock up on tons of ammunition. Just make sure you remember to lock the damn thing so you don't get freeloaders coming in to steal your hard-earned ammo. One more thing about the munitions factory, outside on the west side of the building you'll find a lead deposit which you can either just grab the ore from or you can build a lead extractor to farm up some lead at the same time as you're farming up ammo and uh, this will give you some extra lead for crafting even more ammo. So those are my tips for farming up ammo in Fallout 76. If you have any other ideas for good ways to stock up on ammo, please put them in the comments below. 
Please hit that like button if you found this guide helpful, and also subscribe for tons more Fallout 76 content, as well as a lot of other stuff. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell, and then check out some of these other videos. Find the link to our Discord server and other important stuff in the description below.